Robert? He goes by Robert? If that's what you want to call me, I go by Robert, Rob, Bob, Bobby, Q. So it's Bobby Q. It's all, it's all up to you, boss. Sackmaster, when you go by Sackmaster, too? Go by anything as long as it ain't disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> you know? What's your reaction when the trade went down? Uh, shock. I'm still kind of, I mean, for all honesty, I'm still kind of, I've been telling everyone, I'm still trying to, I guess, get a full grasp on what, you know, happening, the transition. But besides that, you know, happy, you know, new place and great, you know, as I told everyone, I just want to come in, do my part. And, you know, they've been rocking and rolling before I got here. So I, again, don't want to mess anything up. Just, you know, I try to, Add whatever I can you know, to to help make this team better, and, and you know, basically stay out the way. You've traded, you've been traded bef twice before, yeah. but never mid-season. What are the challenges of coming into uh, a new environment? Uh, I, mean, I don't know if they're necessarily challenges, but I mean, one, you can learn the playbook first of all. Then you know, two, or however you want, to, one, however you want to phrase it, whatever. You got to know the people who, who's in the building, from coaches to the, the fellas in the locker room, you know, because that's who you deal with every day. And you know, um, really get to know their names and, and, you know, how they are. You know, I'll be honest, I'm terrible with names. So, it's, so you know, so that's my, I guess, my big challenge for me is just really, because I, you know, take that personally, just want to know people for who they are, not by number. So, How do you get over the shock of it? Because you have to, I have a lot on your plate right now. A game coming up. How do you get past all that? Uh, well, I guess keep looking at my helmets and playbooks. And I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's it's one of those things where I can't change it. Um, you know, again, it's not. It's more of just, I don't know. Really, I, yeah, it's hard to describe. Like it's uh, how, how do you yeah. See, how, how do you see yourself fitting in with you know? rotation they have with BG and Josh Sweat and Hassan Reddick? Uh, well, where, wherever and however they decide to play me, uh, you know, I'll just basically do whatever, you know, they ask again, like I said earlier. I just want to do my part to, to help contribute and, you know, keep helping this team doing what they've been doing this year, and that's winning. So whatever whatever my contribution may be from what they have, you know, I'm just trying to do that best of my ability. You mentioned the playbook, Robert. Uh, they play a somewhat similar scheme here. I know you just got here to what you did in Chicago previously. Does that help a little bit? Did you dive in and see some similar things? Um, I mean, schemes may be similar, but terminology is a, is a lot different. So that's a, you know, I mean, all defense are kind of similar anyway, but, you know, it's terminology. Um, you know, that's the thing would be my challenge, if anything, just learning terminology to – to, to perfection. Were you, were you, you knew already? Were you unhappy? Uh, <laughs> were you unhappy in Chicago? I mean, there were they made a lot of moves. They got rid of some veteran guys. And were you unhappy there? No, I mean I love my guys there. You know, it, the situation is. I mean, it, I'll be honest, wasn't my first coaching change. So I mean, I kind of knew what was going to go on. I mean, to be honest, didn't expect the trade, but I mean knew how the building was gonna gonna shift around a little bit and um yeah I just completely forgot where I was going. What have you with that question? Sorry, what have your uh first interactions been like with Nick Sirianni and Jonathan Gannon, the defensive coordinator? Brief. You know, I've been <laughs> been running around this building trying to get things in order. Uh you know, coach talked to me for a couple couple of minutes, you know, saying hi and, you know, welcome me to the team. Um, you know, looking forward to me getting out there. But like I said, I've been running around today, you know, all day. So brief conversations while I can. And, you know, again, it sounds like they're excited to have me here. Robert, you've been in this league for a long time, uh, have had a lot of success over 100 sacks. What do you think the reason? Why have you been so successful for such a, for such a long period of time? Uh, well, the powers above keep waking me up. You know, that's the most important thing. Um, then when I come to, to come to work, I just try to work my tail off, perfect my craft, because um, it's not given to you. So you got to come in to work every day. And uh, the coach used to say, "Don't get complacent." You know, thinking you got it because you did it one time. You got to keep, you know, you know, practicing and perfecting your craft each and every day. So 
I guess I've been doing it pretty good enough to, I guess, stick around for 12 years. But, you know, can always get better regardless. What did it mean to you uh, that when you walked into the locker room? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I hear you. What did it mean to you when you when you walked in a locker room for the first time and one of the first guys to greet you was Brandon Graham, who plays the same position as, as you? Uh, well, welcoming, you know, because he's one of the leaders on this team and, and you know, for him, and he's, you know, got a, got a year or two over me. So, I mean, to have the, the OG of the team walk up to me is, you know, just uh, makes you feel appreciated, you know, trying to make you feel welcome. Um, so I, I appreciated that, you know, trying to help me do this transition as easy as possible. And uh, like I said, for him being the older guy, I, I, he got a lot of respect around here. And, and like I said, he's only, only been here for a little bit, but, he, you know, Robin. Just his personality and stuff just allowed, you know, just made him very warm, and I guess, it, in a sense. I don't, know, I don't know if you were able to, to see some of the reaction in Chicago yesterday, but, but Roquan Smith got a little bit emotional talking about uh, what you meant to him. What, what did that mean to you? Uh, well, that's my guy. Like, Ro, you know, we can say like a little brother, you know. Um, got there, you know, we didn't know each other, and for whatever reason, we became pretty cool. And, you know, like I said, we, we became pretty tight as, as friends. And, um, you know, just, a, a, just f to see that reaction, you know, it really just shows the, the, the love, you know, that, you know, that we, we have, you know, to, to take a, a teammate and turn him into a brother. You know, you don't get to do that too often. So, you know, to take, a, again, a teammate and turn him into a brother it just shows how much you care about each other. And, of course, no one likes change anyway. And, you know. A couple more questions, please. How much have you put into perspective going from a team within 24 hours that, and I'm being honest here, literally has no chance to go deep into the playoffs to a team that literally has a real chance to go deep in the playoffs? Have you thought about what's happened to you as a player in that perspective? Not, I mean, yes and no, but the first thing that one is really the playbook. Like, that's... <laughs> That's the main thing I'm concerned about, you know, because that's, you know, like, like I told the guys, they they created this record before I got here. So, you know, I, as I said, I need just want to come and do my part. And that's, well, starts with learning the playbook. So I need to make sure I have that down packed so they can trust me, you know, when I get out there. JG was in uh, St. Louis when you got drafted, scouting. Uh, you said Did who? you I'm remember sorry? Jonathan Gannon? Uh, was in uh, with the Rams, Denard Wilson. Mm -hmm. Did you remember those guys? Did you? Denard, uh, Denard was, you know, uh, her, my guy. You know, he's a, well, you know, DB coach. But you know, being in that that you know same room, pretty much. You know, it. it so I knew him. You know, Gannon um, knew him a little bit. But it, you know, I talked to well, used to talk to Denard all the time. We was in the same building back in St. Louis. Um, so, I mean, again, like that helps with a little of the transition. I'm sorry, you mentioned Last the, one, the uh, success the Eagles have had before you got here. They've had double-digit leads in every game this season. As an experienced pass rusher, what's what's pass rushing like in the second half, fourth quarter of games when you had that type of lead? guess I'm about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't had many of them, so I guess I'm about to find out. We'll see. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Robert. Yep. <laughs>